Peace family we still I appreciate the authentic support in all of my spaces. <sighs> Thank you. All right, let's get right into it. We checking in with the Palace of Coops. All right, and that is if you are a sun um, sign, water sign, moon, whatever, rising, and or you are dealing with one, right? This is also like if you find yourself more in your emotional bag, your uh, psyche, something like that, okay? This is for that too. We're talking about the moon, uh, Pluto, and Neptune influences. We're talking about fourth house, eighth house, 12th house teens, of course, all right? It's the palace of cups, all encompassing, all right? As it relates to that. So what are we talking about here with the palace of cups? On the bottom, we got eighth house type energy with the labyrinth, all right? What's secret? Okay, a bit elusive. You gotta find, you gotta figure it out, all right? Using the, you know, the intuition, the senses, the, the psyche, if you will. All right, um, as it relates to receiving something here, something's a bit elusive, trying to find, mm, somebody's looking for something. Maybe could be trying to figure somebody out. Maybe a, possibly a message, like, I wonder what that means, okay? Like, I received this message. Or possibly I want to write something, okay? This is something rather, I got intricate, intimate, deep. What are we talking about here for the Palace of Cups? What are we talking about for the Palace of Cups? Palace of Cups, what are we talking about? This active receiver and or this woman, okay? Could be somebody under the age of 30, but don't have to be. Yeah, somebody trying to figure something out. Like, does this person want to fight here? Or should I fight for it? Like, is somebody sending me bad juju or bad vibes? I kind of feel like somebody's trying to figure something out here. Like, is this person for real? Are they combative here? Three of Cups reverse, King of Wands reverse. There's, there's some kind of vibe around competition. Like, should I be cautious of this person? So I'm getting kind of like seven house type vibes with the Justice card in reverse, High Priestess in reverse, Ace of Swords. And, and the seventh house is the house of hidden enemies, okay? I mean, open enemies, open enemies. Open enemies for the seventh house. And this could be 12th house too, as far as hidden enemies. Like, it feels like both. Like, is this person that I'm linked up with, okay, are they my enemy? Like, kind of like in both ways or something like that? Like, they show me that I'm in competition, but they don't say it, right? They say, no, 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 we, we, we good, we good. But are they really my hidden enemy? 12th house thing. So I have to use my psyche, use my intuition, use what I don't know to figure out if I have to separate this from this. Could be a friend. Could be like a, a friend that's like, yo, they act like they're my friend, but I don't, I got to watch them. Page, page of swords, seven of, wands, seven of wands. Like, I, I think I got to watch this person. Something don't feel right. All right. That's what I feel like. Something don't feel right about the situation. Like, I feel like somebody's a hater, okay? Like, they show me, they do things, okay? Seventh house, open enemy. They do things to show me that they that they hate him. But I kind of feel like this person is like, oh, no, no, it's all good, da, 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 da. But it's like, man, I think they are a hater, okay? I think they are my enemy. And I don't know, something ain't right. Eight and five is what? 13, so that's like a four swords. Like, I think I need to take a rest. I need to take a, take a break from this situation. Like, what's up? Yeah, man. I don't know. Mmm. I don't know what this is, man. Knight of swords, reverse three of swords. Chariot in reverse. Like, is somebody trying to control? Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This feels like a toxic partnership here. Like the communication is trash, very immature. 
All right, very just brash knight of swords in reverse. Like you say something and they just bite your head off. And it feels like this has been going on for a while. Again, five of cups in reverse with the with the three of cups in reverse. That's a whole eight of cups in reverse, though. Like I'm not walking away. Three of wands in reverse. Ace of Swords. It feels like there's an avoidance here about how somebody truly is. Treating you. I'll say it just like that. Like, I don't know. Somebody's getting real treated real bad here. Very immature verbal situation. Like, with communication. Like, the things that they do. It's like, no, this is not aligned at the time. Like, it's heartbreaking. This is painful. Like, and I don't feel like this is, like, fresh. Like, something that, you know, it happens not even sporadically. I feel like this is often. Like, I feel I'm, I'm here often. I'm often in my head about the situation. All right? That somebody wants to get me. Somebody's out to get me or something, too. Like, I don't know. Could be talking behind my back. Knight of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords. I don't know. Talking behind my back. But again, it feels like somebody, you know, could be, you know, scared about the situation, nervous, like choosing not to address this. Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. Like somebody's not happy, man. Could be, you know, doing shit to supplement their feelings or something like that. I don't know. Two of wands, four of wands in reverse. I feel like it's obvious. That's a whole six of wands, four and two in reverse. That this is not going to be successful. Um, they're not getting enough attention and or, and or they should stop giving attention to this situation. Like, it, you know, it's, it's difficult because, you know, this is like strong passion or spiritual connection or y'all could have lived together or, you know, um, maybe you do now and it would mean that you would have to move or something like that. But yeah, eight of cups in reverse. Instead, it's an eight of cold, eight of cups. Somebody not doing it. They're not walking away. And they could share a child with this person with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Like, this could be a real domestic situation. Like, you know, they could be supplementing the child or the household to some degree. But I don't feel like it's going to last. I don't feel like it's enough. And I really don't feel like this other party is getting any attention or any benefit, money or otherwise, from this situation. And strength card, knight of cups in reverse that have the strength to like really accept that they're being breadcrumb right now and that they deserve more. Like the emperor showed up upright twice. So somebody could be standing up for themselves. Like this could be like an outburst. Like I'm not happy. Like this is killing me or something. Like this is unfair. How you treat me. Like versus them. It could be like a versus them situation. I don't know. Like you other, treat other people better or something. Wow. And I kind of even feel like somebody might be unhappy that this is not going to start again. Maybe somebody wants to fight for somebody. I'm kind of getting that vibe too, that this could be a separation or maybe you're separated, but still together. I don't know. This is weird what I'm getting, man. But it's like somebody knows that this is not going to start again. Like there's no way. And again, with the page of Pentacles reverse and the King of Pentacles, maybe somebody could just be willing to, you know, take care of their child or something like that. Or somebody's struggling to. Or somebody, mm -hmm. King of Swords 7, I don't know. I feel like somebody's shutting somebody out here. Like, I don't want you, or they're showing it with their actions, maybe not saying it. I don't know. King of Swords, though. Seven of Wands reverse. Like, tell me about this King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, there. Wait a second. It could be this person just very much like, yo, because this is not starting over, I don't know how I'm going to take care of my child and myself. Eight 
of swords, six of wands. Like there's no secret. Whatever this is, okay, there's instability here. There's money troubles here, okay? Whether this person knows it or not, like it's coming, it's here. It, there's no success. And I feel like, um, again, with this eight of swords, like somebody knows it, okay? And I don't feel like it's necessarily being said, but it's no secret. High Priestess in reverse. Okay, ten of swords, the moon, like somebody's hiding their pain, they're hiding what they know. I feel like they're just kind of like allowing themselves to get dragged to go along with it. I don't know. I feel like a very meek energy around this. Five of Wands reverse. Magician in reverse. Hey, man in reverse. Seven of Swords. Somebody knows, man. I don't, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. What is the advice for this person that I kind of feel like is, is, is getting dragged? Okay. And if you're out of this situation, it could be just very, um, the outlook is just not very optimistic financially with your overall direction, with your path. It's like, because, you know, it kind of hurts me to have to like fight for this situation. Like I don't want to. I don't want to like rivalry, like compete or something like that. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles, man. There is some some here. Okay, I'm like a bag, literally. All right. And it comes leaving this organization or this partnership or something like that. All right. Or be aware if you already have, like, you know, you're in alignment for it. Okay. Staying out of your mind and knowing, you know, I just got without knowing. So I guess without verbal confirmation, physical confirmation, what's going on, because it wasn't. Okay. It was not happening. I, I kind of feel like somebody said they were going to take care of a child or they're taking care of a child or something like that. Like, no, there's no stability. Okay, and if this is you struggling with taking care of your child or your responsibilities or whatever it is, be aware that again, like there's no secret here in the past as it wasn't victorious. And if you're moving, moving, you know, trying to find your way out, looking for clues, like it's gonna happen. Yeah, ace of cups, seven of wands, eight of wands reverse. It really feels like blocking somebody out. Okay, like that's what it really feels like. Like, knowing that I was getting dragged, that like that wasn't in alignment. Chariot in reverse. Like, it was heartbreaking. I didn't want to compete. It, it constantly kept me in my head. The communication was just too damn immature. Like, I cannot. It was making me miserable. I got making my children mis miserable. Okay? Whatever it's hitting for. I mean, I feel like, you know, there's something here that's coming, okay? Money, whatever. I just got to keep your job or something like that. Like, if you want to leave a job for this person, I don't know. But tower in reverse, okay? Block them, okay? Hermit in reverse. It's, it feels like I want to go out, but it feels like still keep your distance. Stay in the shadows from this person. Like, stay isolated, silent, withdrawn from this person. And two of wands, like... There's a decision to make to go another way here and like not care about it. Six of Swords, Reverse, Hierophant, Knight of Cups. It feels like commit to moving forward, you know, toward more optimism. Because again, with the High Priestess in Reverse, there's a secret out that like, even that like, yo, I might have missed the boat. I, I might have missed other opportunities because of the situation. Hmm. It is very interesting messages this week. Uh, and they, like, ah. Uh, well, what do we have for cancer? What is the message for cancer around this? Wow. 
lilies, pay attention to your, you know, your wise counsel, whether it's intuitively um, or if you do, do have like a spiritual friend or confidant or something like that, um, go towards peace, okay? The house, all right. This is my cancer card. Be aware. this is this is a house of this is a card of home too. Your business, your home business, upright, okay. Success, all right. There's a lot of success, but it's about loyalty to a new life here. And again, there is a child with a man, but it feels like it's a burden that you have to make your own luck with, okay. For whatever it's sitting for, you are the man or the girl uh, to take action and from one or something like that, but. Ultimately, it feels like stay loyal to yourself in this situation. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Rider. So movement. Somebody could be coming toward you. Or again, with this two of wands, I do feel like move, you know, um, a message could be coming in, but it does feel like movement here. Away again, see movement mice move like again. Well, like you know, this is a messenger card, so I would keep communicate communication to a minimal. But um, there's a commitment, okay? It feels like you know, but it comes with making this decision to go store towards stability. And again, with this whip and this scythe and this book, it's like yo, cut this out. Like trust that you have to cut this out. Like very intuitive messages for all the palaces. Like trust your gut in this financial work, whatever type of situation. All right. And Piscean. What do we have for Piscean? Piscean. Got the tree. All right. So good health. Like planting roots. Is This is like a new life phase of success. All right. I like it. Change it, but it comes with a decision again. All right. A decision to move forward. Okay. Again, there is a child. I feel like a child makes this difficult. All right. Between someone, this could be like a separation of a family with a chariot card here, cancer, fourth house. It is, but it does it, with this rider and the bear. Okay. And the woman, this really gives me like an actual physical woman. Okay, that you're just going to have to put in the work and it is not going to be easy. Okay, but there is success with this mountain here, like this choice, it, but it, it, it's the way to this, you know, authentic life. Okay, royalty. You, well, I said royalty, but I wanted to say like, you, you know, your career, your legacy, your status, yes, money, but like it feels like generational type wealth with the tree here in the Ten of Pentacles. Like, that's what I feel. And it's not going to be easy. Hermit card in reverse because somebody absolutely does need to nurture themselves. And I feel like even doing this will give them the capacity I just got to do that. All right. That's what I have for the Pals of Cups. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.